Hello my soccer universe, I have decided to make a review of the last two rounds of League uh, because quite a few things happened, quite a few interesting things happened and there's a lot to happen, about to happen as well, so there you go. Uh, it's also my first chance to, here's my new Toulouse shirt, so I have now a fully French background, here on the side are four Ligue 2 teams, maybe one if not two will get promoted next season, let's hope for that. That the collection actually has more uh, first division teams and it's also uh, most likely the last video that I'm doing with the blank background before I put up the scarves again uh, in a slightly different configuration. Let's see where that will go. Liga, quite some drama, quite some drama and again which team has the most drama when you uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you were talking about it's of course the big boys from Paris. It is so uh, I don't know damning or whatever, whatever. It's so typical in a way. Uh, they have always some uh, things going on. I mean the game back that they had it looked really good. I mean uh, you had Mbappe coming back early after the World Cup final. You had of course um, Neymar come coming back early. Really wanting trying to prove themselves, and then yeah. Neymar completely implodes and that was not necessarily what they all needed. There's another team that is a little bit on the imploding side at the moment which is Lyon who looked brilliant at one point and then completely fell flat uh, on the weekend. But another big story that is underreported but will not go missed by the, in this channel is that the two Austrian contributions uh, in Ligue 1 had actually pretty good spells because at Clermont, who have a partnership with Austria, Lust, Lustner, an under-21 captain, uh, Ham, Mohamed Ham, uh, scored the winner then against Lyon and Kevin Danzo, big defender, sometimes for a national team, he's in one of the choice, is doing really great things with Lars and Lars is probably the biggest story and yes, I don't have a Lars jersey in the back there working on it, but I'm very picky with Lars jer uh, jerseys and as I said in my uh, beginning of the year V video, I'm holding back for now and then we'll go all out for a really nice last jersey. Uh, jersey. This might be actually will be one of the first purchases uh, in this new year. Let's go through what we have seen uh, in League 1 over uh, in at the end of the last year and at the beginning of, 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 of the new year. I mean, if you see here the, the, the results, Monaco's 3-2 at Auxerre uh, sticks out a little bit, also Lille 2-0 at uh, Clermont. And then Lyon really looked quite good. I saw a few high, 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 high of, of that one. Uh, beating Brest 4-2, it looked actually quite nice what Laurent Blanc's side was uh, doing. Like I said, uh, converting a penalty. Uh, Ryan Cherky up there, Cacre, uh, they even have a new ownership. It looked all very, very good and everyone thought, yeah, Lyon is back on track. Yeah, not quite. The, I, already, I already said the uh, PSG Strasbourg game, it was, you know, Neymar showing more or less up, uh, giving an assist to Marquinhos, so the two Brazilians get back on the, uh, the score screen sheet. Everything looking good until Marquinhos scores an own goal. And then Neymar gets within two uh, minutes, two yellow cards, which I think both of them were kind of unlucky. Yes, the diving he doesn't need to do, but it kind of puts such a damper onto their per per performance. And then the referee also had a little bit of a shock because Marquinhos seemingly had scored the winner. However, the referee called for a penalty first. Well, not the luckiest decision there. However, Mbappé, he's pretty good at penalties these days. Uh, I think his drama from a year, year ago is gone converts 2-1 PSG uh, and everyone is uh, laying to the uh, feet of Kian, of course. And everything looked fine in the land of Paris. However, that was not to last. Um, the other outstanding result was, of course, Marseille rolling over Toulouse. And this it was so funny because I just had identified this, but this black Toulouse shirt with the um, color gradient is one of my favorite shirts of the year. Uh, probably see them and they get hammered by OM. Absolutely hammered. Rangier getting an early one, then a really bad on goal, and then, you know, and at 60 seconds it was already 4 0, and that was this in in interest in the game anymore. It ended 6 1. Uh, OM really looking also strong, and hence I am wearing uh, uh, OM here as well. And then Lars and Nice, uh, rather, mm, yeah, nil nil. 
would have expected a little bit more uh, there. Then in the new year, it actually started, I mean, uh, New Year's Day uh, football, a brilliant goal uh, by Golovin gives Monaco a win over Brest, who have not lost to Lyon and Brest. Then, of course, we already said OL at home showing nothing and Mohamed Kham converting a late panel penalty to give Clermont a rather famous victory, it has, has to be said. And again, an Austrian in Liga, this is something has to be a little bit celebrated, uh, despite uh, him not, not being yet the most glorious Austrian. Uh, let, let's put it that way. Toulouse also back on winning ways, not over Auxerre, was also very much needed for them. But it all pointed towards the top of the table clash between Lance and PSG. And that was a game, and it all over, it's also worked out so brilliantly with the Premier League that the Premier League fixtures were uh, finished. You could watch uh, PS Lance against PSG. Lance uh, in their St. Barb's shirt, uh, which usually are 4th of December, but you know, there was a World Cup, so they were them now in gold and black. Looked a little, little, little bit weird, but I think I could get along with that, but I would not make this my first choice uh, last year <laughs> okay can you back that? i think it was a really really good game especially from last the atmosphere wonderful i mean it's the felix Belair is always one of the most um uh atmospheric stadiums in france anyway they took an early lead through from frankowski that was then quickly equals by ekitike uh where the potentially was a foul on the goalie in in there but it was it was a really good 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 start um the problem for psg was that uh ramos uh very soon kind of seemed to be not uh very fit in in in, in a way and uh, over the whole build-up didn't really work tactically they were completely outplayed by Lance, who pressed the hell out of, of, of them they still had more control of the game, but then gave up the through uh, for um, for Fana and Openda a uh, counter attack, and Openda makes it two one. And right after the half, again super high press, Openda to Claude Maurice three one. That settled the game. Yes, um, uh, Kilian had a few chances. He actually got a good reception by the crowd as well. Also has has to be said because you don't see this too often these days. But overall, this was more or less a destruction. It could have gone worse, it could have also gone bad. So I think a 3-1 is rather uh, or all right. It adds a little bit more excitement back into the league because now the lead is cut down to four points. Not really. I think PSG will walk, walk away with it overall. But a loss definitely underlining their aspirations of finishing higher up. And then uh, yesterday... Um, Let's see, uh, Strasbourg again uh, losing at home to Rouen. Strasbourg are really looking bad at, at this moment. Um, Marseille, with one of those weird wins at Montpellier, they, they really dominated Montpellier for most of the time. Get finally the uh, the goal through Tavares there. There were a few really good chances in, in, in there then. Uh, and Estef uh, on goal in the 61st really set the game towards Marseille. However, in the last, um, I want to say, 10, 10 minutes, including Stoff Stoff Stein, Marseille did everything to mess this up. This was a cruise control win. Um, however, uh, Nuno Tavares, I mean, the way he hacks down the player from from in the opposing penalty box. So it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It was first given the yellow. Uh, and then a yellow, yellow red until it was then a clear uh, red card. Uh, it was absolute. And uh, I think uh, Igor Tudor was not very, very pleased with that. Um, and then Paul Lopez implodes in the 90th by just uh, going under on the ball and punching uh, people away. And Savanier converts a penalty. Oh, I'm though hanging on to that win, which also keeps them in contention. Then uh, Ren, who uh, had lost uh, just, just before the end of the year, 3-1 at Reims. Also, get a 2-1 win over Nice, which was uh, also really important for, for them. Terrier and Bourigo getting the goals, the winning goal, rather late on. So, with that, the standings are with PSG, Lens, Marseille, uh, Rennes and Monaco. They're all relative, uh, especially behind Lens, those are relatively close together. If you get Lorient, who is still a surprise package, and Lille, uh, we have a really interesting pack you also see. The PSG title changes are now from 99 to 97%, and there are other teams that have a teeny smidgen of a chance, namely Lens and Marseille, but you know, not much. 
I think uh, the most interesting part of this league earn season will be with four relegated teams. It will be uh, it will be bloodshed. They are down, down. They are at the moment Brest, Auxerre, Strasbourg, and Angers. But uh, as you see, it's still less than half of a season play. So there a lot can happening, and I think there might be some teams that will uh, go into the transfer window now. At the moment, the teams that my model predicts to go down are Jacques Zoe, Brest, Auxerre and Angers, but you see Rest Strasbourg being in real, real, real danger down there, uh, very hovering there, not the cup winners also, kind of hovering there. If we go on top, it is more or less what I said, it's PSG will win this title, I think we don't need to talk about that, but Lance Marseille uh, make out the last two spots, and then uh, Rennes and Monaco. And I want to just note with Lance, they have been recently promoted. In the season where Lille won the title, they just have, 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 have been promoted. So there's really, really great work done there. Upcoming fixtures. We have now a little bit of a break. We'll talk about that. But uh, uh, in the midweek, next week, so in about the week, we have, we have a few, um, we have a round of fixtures. Uh, you know, the traditionalist to me looks at not Lyon, although I don't know. I think Lorient, Mon Monaco is probably the more interesting one. Lens uh, go to Strasbourg, PSG at home to Angers, and Troyes uh, host Marseille. So those are the top teams. It's not really the big, big, big clash in there. And for completeness, I also give, give them the weekend uh, fixtures because I might not do a video before uh, that. With Ren PSG being the big name fixture on the bottom there. But in between. And uh, Marseille Lorient. Uh, look out for that one. Look out for that one. Um, uh, in between, we also have a cup round, which comes up this weekend, and here I have some select fi uh, fixtures. Uh, you know, there's Lille against Troyes, I think it's the only... No, and uh, Strasbourg against Angers, those are the two uh, fixtures uh, of uh, pick, uh, pitching league earn sides against each other. I think a very interesting one is Bordeaux against Rennes, because Bordeaux is on the way up to League 1 again. Yes! They were initially in the third tier, then they uh, suit themselves more or less back into uh, Ligue 2, and now they're leading Ligue 2 and may come back. So uh, a few interesting fixtures there as well. And uh, I want to end it also because we have on uh, this weekend the um, Eredivisie coming back. And here are the next two, fix, uh, next two sets of fixtures for the Eredivisie as well. Um, not really anything e exciting, I think, once coming back, except maybe for Utrecht against Rot uh, Feyenoord. That could be an interesting one. And then Ajax against Twente uh, the weekend after. Herrn Wien against AZ? Against AZ? Maybe, 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 maybe. A classic, of course, between Groningen and Feyenoord as well. So, that's it from me from France. I'm actually preparing a League 1 jersey review, which should come your way sometime soonish. So, look look out for that one. Um, in the meantime, please let me know what you thought uh, about the happenings in League 1. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!